Let's work through an example problem where we're using the basic accounting equation. So the basic accounting equation is your assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And this problem says at the beginning of the year, Collins Company had assets of $600,000 and liabilities of $250,000. And then it gives us three independent situations where we're first going to need to figure out the amount of owner's equity at the end of the year, then liabilities at the end of the year, and then assets at the end of the year, each situation independent of the others. But before we can even start with parts A, B, and C, we need to figure out what our owner's equity was at the beginning of the year because we were only told our assets and our liabilities. So we have our basic accounting equation, right? Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. We're gonna start plugging in the amounts that we know. We know our assets are 600,000. We know our liabilities are 250,000. Then we can just solve for the unknown, right? Just like you would in algebra. So we need to subtract $250,000 from each side, and we find that our owner's equity at the beginning of the year is $350,000. So we're gonna use that information along with our asset and liability amounts to make up this beginning of the year accounting equation, right? We have our assets, we have our liabilities, and we have our owner's equity. This is what we started the year with. Now we can start working on parts A, B, and C. So part A said, what is the amount of owner's equity at the end of the year if assets increased by 50,000 and liabilities decreased by 25,000? So we have our amounts up towards the top of the screen now, right? Our assets were 600,000. So if those increased by 50,000, those are now 650,000. Our liabilities decreased by 25,000. So we take 250 minus 25, and that's how we get that 225,000. And we're looking for our owner's equity. So once again, we need to solve for owner's equity like we would for x in algebra. To do that, we take 225 and we subtract that from each side of the equation and we find our owner's equity to be $425,000. So that would have increased by 75,000 throughout the year. Now part B, part B is totally independent from part A. So we go back to our original asset liability and owner's equity amounts for the beginning of the year. Part B is asking, what is the amount of liabilities at the end of the year if your assets decreased by 100,000 and owner's equity decreased by 75,000? So, Assets decreasing by 100,000, that gets us 500,000. And owner's equity decreased by 75,000. So we take 350 minus 75, and that's how we get that 275. And now we need to just solve for our liabilities. So we need to subtract 275,000 from each side, and we find that our liabilities equal $225,000 at the end of the year. Now part C, what is the amount of total assets at the end of the year if liabilities increased by 50,000 and owner's equity increased by 25,000? So once again, we're going back to our original numbers, right? Your assets started off at 600, liabilities at 250 and owner's equity at 350. So now we need to increase our liabilities and our owner's equity. So our liabilities increased and are now 300,000 
and our owner's equity increased, and it is now 375,000. So your total assets equals your liabilities plus your owner's equity. So your assets will be $675,000.